Dr. Ashton, uh, again at DC Forest, you're going to be answering the medical questions we have. The first one here, tell us, Doc, what is the most up-to-date information on the ways COVID-19 is spread? So we're learning more about what we call the transmission dynamics of this virus. But remember, both when we first learned about it, as well as right now, this is an airborne pathogen. So the primary means of transmission is through the air. Now, whether that's by droplets or smaller aerosolized particles still being worked out in the field of aerosol science, um, there's been some data both in the lab and in real life settings suggesting these particles can travel over 20 feet. But then we've heard that three feet of distancing is probably enough to lower risk as well. So bottom line, it's in the air. It's not via fomite or direct contact transmission as much. All right. One more here is taking a baby aspirin every day good for my health. Short answer is no. You know, 20 years ago when people hit age 50, everyone was recommended to take a baby aspirin. Now that is absolutely not the case. We know there are real risks of bleeding and, and gastric irritation with taking baby aspirin. So it's really limited to people with certain medical conditions like people who have had strokes or heart attacks um, and on the advice of a healthcare provider. Just because it is over the counter does not mean it is something that should be popped like candy. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you so much. You can submit questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.